Ah, uh, the spoon. It's not something people tend to spend a lot of time thinking about, because, you know, it's a spoon. The earliest spoons referenced on record are believed to be seashells, and other records of the utensil date back to ancient Egyptian and Roman history. For centuries, it was primarily used for holding peppercorns. That is, until someone discovered the spoon could be implemented as a method of food transportation. By using it as a type of shovel, one could transport a serving of dairy liquid and processed grain meal from the bowl on their kitchen table to the mouths on their faces. And from that day on, food consumption became a lot more sanitary. But it wasn't until someone decided to hang a spoon on a wall as a decoration that the utensil achieved its full potential. Okay, seriously, spoon collecting is a hobby that has kind of a rich history. Collecting decorative spoons has existed as a pastime for centuries with the practice being popular in Europe as far back as the early to mid-1800s. The first decorative spoon in North America is believed to be of George Washington, and it was released in the 1890s. My grandmother was an avid collector of spoons. Throughout her life, any time she traveled somewhere new, she picked up a spoon to commemorate her visit to a new destination. When she passed away, she left her collection to me, and I still have it because it reminds me of her. But I've never really added to it. Spoon collecting just wasn't something I was ever really interested in. Well, not until I found out that in the 80s and 90s, West Edmonton Mall actually released a collection of their own commemorative spoons. Oh, and we're not just talking about two or three. I've gotten my hands on over a dozen different West Edmonton Mall themed spoons, each with their own unique design and theme. So, if you're ready, buckle in, as we take a closer look at the spoons of West Edmonton Mall. I'm going to say this up front, a lot of these spoons just haven't aged well. Not so much in theme, but rather, the imagery featured on many of these spoons have faded to quite an intense yellow. It certainly seems that the print quality wasn't quite up to the challenge of lasting several decades. First up is this Fantasyland spoon. The Fantasyland logo is one which resonates quite well with me. It was featured on signs, hats, patches, and this commemorative spoon. The Fantasyland logo, now yellowed with age, would have been stamped onto the head of this spoon sometime prior to 1994, as that was when the park changed names from Fantasyland to Galaxyland. I really like this logo, and I have a few souvenirs that feature it. It brings me right back to the days of the Drop of Doom and the Fantasyland Express. The same style of logo also exists on this spoon for the Deep Sea Adventure. The long gone, but never forgotten attraction existed in the world's largest indoor lake in phase three of West Edmonton Mall. The logo, also featured on this shirt from our West Edmonton Mall Retro Fashions video, reminds me so much of the Beatles' Yellow Submarine. This is probably my favorite spoon. And if these two spoons got together and had a baby, it would look something like this. This spoon highlights both Fantasyland and the Deep Sea Adventure in a single spoon. I know what you're thinking, that's just too much awesomeness for one spoon. And all I can say is yes. Yes it is. This spoon showcases some of the animals which have called the mall home over the years, particularly the early years. The macaws of the World Water Park, and even the white tigers who used to visit the mall back in the 1980s. And this World Water Park spoon may be yellowed with age, but true West Empton Mall fans will see through all of that, to the true color underneath, blue. The surf of the Blue Thunder Wave Pool, the speed of the Blue Bullet, and all of the other colors of North America's largest indoor water park. Speaking of the water park, this spoon features what I call the Neon Duck Family, whose imagery graced the front of other water park souvenirs. Some of my favorite spoons in my collection are the ones which simply feature the West Edmonton Mall logo. I think this one is gorgeous in its styling. It's probably my favorite spoon. I absolutely love the retro look of the rainbow underlining the words West Edmonton Mall. And just look at how much space is dedicated to that underline. It's a very bold choice. There are a couple of more spoons which also feature the West Edmonton Mall logo. Each feature is rather simplistic in its design, 
at least when compared to some of the other spoons in this collection. There's something about that original West Empton Mall logo that I just can't get over. I think it's particularly because, on a personal level, it represents my time growing up in Edmonton. It's also just a prime example of how simple design execution can produce fantastic results. If you're depressed about not being able to see the Fantasyland logo because of all that yellow coloring, well, fret not, for there exists versions untainted by the scourge of time. These are my favorite spoons in the collection. The bright logos stand out, and their vibrant colors really pop. A pretty unique subset of the collection features iconic attractions from the mall set against a large maple leaf. They're definitely the most Canadian of these decorative spoons. Two of these are just mirror images of each other. Dolphins frozen in time mid-jump. These reference the four dolphins who used to live in the mall. Harold, Maria, Gary, and Mavis. I'm not sure why there are two versions of this spoon that are just mirrored. Probably just to make sure there's at least one more you need to buy so you can have the entire collection. Collect the whole sack. There's also a submarine version featuring a representation of what was once four fully functional submarines that operated in the Deep Sea Adventure Lake. The first recreational submarines put into operation anywhere in the world. You know, it seems like this entire series has to do with water. First the dolphins, then the submarines, and now the Santa Maria. An exact scale replica of Christopher Columbus's ship, on which he sailed from Europe to North America. And for no other reason than to be the most Canadian spoon in the entire collection, the final in the Maple Leaf series is a Royal Canadian Mounted Police officer atop a stallion, of course. What this has to do with West Edmonton Mall, rather than just Canada as a whole, is unknown. But the spoon does say West Edmonton Mall in its scoop. The other West Edmonton Mall, but not really related to West Edmonton Mall spoon, is the one of an oil pump. How do you know it's an oil pump? Because it says oil pump right there on the spoon. You might ask yourself, what does this have to do with West Edmonton Mall? and your guess is as good as mine. Finally, no spoon collection could be complete without pewter. Yes, I said pewter. This spoon, which virtually has the flexibility of a plastic straw, is a dual feature of mall attractions, this time pairing the nostalgic fantasy land on the head with the ice palace on the scoop. It's probably my favorite because it's made of a single solid material and it looks so slick. Today, spoon collecting isn't nearly as popular as it once was. It's not super difficult to find collectible spoons, if you're looking for them, but it's definitely not as widespread as it was in the past. I'd like to close with the words that a wise group of musicians once said. Feel the rhythm with your hands. Steal the rhythm while you can. Spoon Man. So the next time you're enjoying the rides at Galaxyland, or the slides at the World Water Park, and you stop for a treat, why not reach for an iconic utensil for your bite of ice cream, and chow down using one of these pieces of history, the decorative spoons of West Edmonton Mall. So which was your favorite spoon? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel, give us a like and a share, and maybe even visit our Patreon page. And why not check out one of our other videos, all about the greatest indoor show on Earth, West Edmonton Mall. Oh, and thanks for watching.